All right, well, folks, the cylinder head for my Toyota Corolla 1.8 liter engine has finally come in. You know, I just want to first and foremost just uh, get you some focus back here. And then uh, just kind of, you know, a lot of mechanics will agree with me. Automotive technicians, shop owners will agree with me. There is such a thing as a good and a bad customer in this industry. And these customers have been wonderful customers. I mean, they've been great. I've had this vehicle for months now. It's been an extremely hard diagnosis, an extremely hard repair. But we are actually finally at the downhill slope of it. And um, here you have it. So this is the cylinder head that we are going to use to replace on our 1.8 liter Toyota. And the reason why we are replacing it is because the other one has a completely burnt up valve. Actually, it has uh, two burnt up valves. And uh, we took a gamble on this one. And I am happy that we took a gamble. It's definitely been a blessing to us. It's a beautiful cylinder head. Now, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to redo the job yet again, unfortunately. This is a job I've actually done one, two, three. This will be the third time for doing this one. So, so um, I'm going to reuse the cams that came in this cylinder head. I have all new gears from, from the first job and new timing chain. So, I'll go ahead and just uh, pull these gears off and replace these gears with the new ones. And then what I'll do is I'll also go ahead and uh, lock everything down, bolt everything down according to specifications, and I'll make my measurements. And so long as the measurements are fine inside of here, uh, between my cam lobes and my valves, I'm not going to adjust them. I'm going to leave them alone, and I actually think that I may not have to adjust them. So yeah, we'll go ahead and change the gears out. We'll go ahead and lock everything down, make our measurements, and then from there, um, I've already checked the other side of it with a straight edge it does not need to be planed it's not warped but i would like to show you some things that i found that indicate this is a beautiful head all right first of all the color on this head is beautiful okay you can tell that each cylinder here has been burning pretty decently and you notice this is the original spark plugs that's a good burn that's a good burn that's a good burn. Ah, well, now, wait a minute. We got a little bit of a different coloration here. If you notice, this cylinder is just a little bit different, okay? We'll just keep it simple. It's maybe got a little bit more carbon inside of it. If you look at these, these have been burnt very evenly and very decently. This one has it. Now, look at the difference in the spark plug, okay? That is a nicely burned spark plug. And notice this one has some buildup on it. And also notice how it's white. Okay, so what is this an indication of? This is an indication that this engine had a vacuum leak of some type. Or um, uh, to keep it more simple, the, the difference in coloration, good burn, good burn, good burn, running rich, running lean. And uh, in order to explain all that to you, I would need about an hour and a chalkboard. But bottom line is, is more than likely this engine had a vacuum leak. No big deal. We will fix that um, once we install this with all new gaskets and everything else. So, so there's just something that you can look for when you're looking at heads and whatnot. Another thing is look at all of these water ports. None of them, none of the water ports are clogged nor are they corroded and that's going to be an indication that this engine has been ran with the proper coolant in it and that it has been properly serviced and honestly just it's it's the same thing the avalanche effect from there um you know you've got indications that you've got a good running engine maybe ran lean at one time due to a vacuum leak that's not a big deal the rest of these are beautiful the surface on the head is beautiful. The head itself is beautiful. And then looking inside of all the water ports, you can just see how beautiful and clean it is inside of there. And that's just a good indication that all the proper fluids were used and that this head was serviced. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to set this head up on end. So I'm going to pause it real quick. So here's what I'm going to do for the rest of today and possibly tonight. Um, 
since my cams are already loose, as you can see, well, that means that every single one of my valves are closed right now, okay? All of them are closed shut tight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill each and every one of these holes up with water. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to check these valves every hour or so over the course of a couple hours. And if I see any water running through there, well, then I'm going to go through here and start cleaning it, see if there's any carbon buildup, see if I've got a valve stuck open or anything like that. Or, you know, it may need to be machined. So I'm going to water test it next. I'll show you what that looks like. All right, and there you go. Now, as long as you make sure you dry these out properly and you clean them out, there's nothing wrong with pouring water, filling these up, okay? And what we want to see over the course of an hour or two is if anything seeps out of here whatsoever. And if it does, then we'll go ahead and uh, work from there. Well, everybody, this is Matthew, your friendly technician. Signing off. Thanks for supporting me. Please like, share. If you felt like you learned every, anything, I'm not going to leave you in a blurry cloud. There you go. There's some focus. Okay. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.